vlog number five. Welcome. We're speaking about content creation and how to have a content creation strategy that's going to allow your business to stand out and to connect with your customers and deliver an actual return on your investment. Oh, geez. Does anyone know any personal trainers that can help me train for prefer professional vlogging? I'm absolutely knackered. Can he walk and vlog? So, just arrived at Kinloch. Um, the team are just inside getting their COVID tests and doing a pre-production run-through. So our production manager, Victoria, um, is just taking the client and our crew through the running order of the day. Got quite a lot to cram in today with it being only a two-day shot. So uh, shoot, so the morning is all about the kilt making process. So all of the little um, components that go into making a kilt uh, and then also the kilt fitting process. So. Um, showing the whole process through a uh, customer's eyes. So we've got our model Jason arriving shortly um, and we'll be showing the what it feels like to um, select and get a kilt fitted with Kinlock. Uh, so I'm just about to go in and get my COVID test. Yay. just in Leith heading along to get some hot drinks for the team and I wanted to speak about pre-production and how it can help keep your content budgets down so like I mentioned before the more work you put into your pre-production before the shoot actually happens um, around planning the shoot schedule the shot lists your resources model selection all of that sort of stuff risk assessments method, method statements um, the more detailed you can be up front, the more you'll be able to get done uh, when it comes to the actual shoot itself. Uh, and the more organised and focused you are with the actual shots that you need to capture and the deliverables that they need to match up to, then you're going to be a lot more coordinated, less stressed on the day, um, and it should contribute to a more successful uh, shoot overall. So now that we've been out and you've got to see the Kinlock shoot, what I want to do is give you some actionable tips to take away. So the first thing that you need to think about is asking why. So what is the purpose of doing a video shoot? Like we've spoken before in previous vlogs, everything needs to have a purpose. So everything that you create in your business needs to align with your business and it needs to align with your customers. Otherwise, it's just creating for the sake of creating and it's not going to have as big an impact because it's not going to be meaningful and it's not going to draw the customer in. Okay, so creating a brief document. The first benefit of this is it's going to align your team with what you're trying to achieve with content creation. Brief document should be really short, two pages, straight to the point. Uh, that'll allow you to keep it nice and focused. Um, in terms of what deliverables you're looking to achieve, but what sort of things should it have on it? So it should have a, a description of your audience. So who are the people that you're trying to target? Um, what channels are you trying to communicate to them on? What sort of look, feel, style, tone of voice are you looking for? Um, and then elements. So what kind of message are you trying to get across in your video? What kind of key pillars of content do the content producers need to create to achieve your objective. So now that we've done all the pre-production planning, it's on to the shoot day or, or days. Um, and depending on the size of the shoot, will dictate the size of the crew. We do a lot of shoots where it's just a kind of two person team and the deliverables have been able to be captured in a day. So it's really dependent on, on exactly what the client requires. 
One of the biggest mistakes I see is people investing quite a significant amount of money into one piece of content and that's usually because they've not got a strategy or they've been given bad advice um, but what it always in my experience results in is buyer's remorse, disappointment and the brand's not seeing the traction that they thought they would get and it makes sense really because what impact is one piece of content actually going to do unless you're a big brand like John Lewis with their Christmas advert or Coca-Cola with their Santa truck like they can justify it because they've got brand recognition and people are emotionally bought into these um, but for smaller brands it's actually all about production value a roll, B roll, C roll, Z roll. Sorry for the jargon. Promise we're no as boring. Well, I'm no as boring as I might come across. So just to explain that, B roll. Apologies for the jargon. Is basically supporting footage. So it's the footage that you might see when someone's talking, and it spans across the the main footage. So it's a collection of additional shots that we would try and capture on a shoot to add a bit of context and a bit of storyline to the actual finished product. Anyway, amplification. So the final piece of the puzzle, now that you've got all of your really good quality content that's fit for purpose, how are we going to get that out there so that it provides a return on investment? So for example, if you're creating a YouTube video, what you really need to think about is that first 10 seconds. So what can I say or do at the start of that video to grab someone's attention to make sure that they stay long enough to listen to the message within the video. So, to summarise, pre-production is really important in any shoot, so making sure that you've got the foundations in place to get the most out of what you're spending, and that includes having a really clear understanding of what you're looking to achieve, so what the purpose of that shoot is, and then creating a really strong and clear brief so that when you pass it to your creative partners or you go into a shoot, you understand exactly what you're trying to capture and why. And then the final part is really understanding how you're going to amplify that content. So how are you going to get the most out of it, what channels are you going to use, um, and how are you going to repurpose that content to make sure it gets to as wide an audience as possible. And that's us. Thanks for tuning in and speak soon.